If you're looking for a plant with an impressive, exotic, trumpet-like flower in a wide range of colors and sizes, you can't go wrong with a hibiscus. Light, hibiscus loves bright conditions. Full sun is often best, but in the intense, dry heat, filtered sunlight is better. If you find that your plant isn't producing many blooms, move the plant to a sunnier location. Soil, all hibiscus do best in a well-drained, fertile, moist, loamy soil. Most hibiscus prefer a slightly acidic soil pH. The color of hibiscus flowers can be affected by the soil acidity level. Tip, mulching around the plant base can help with moisture retention if your location is experiencing dry conditions. For nutrient-poor soil, amending with organic matter will be beneficial. Water. All hibiscus are thirsty plants that need to be kept moist. Indoor tropical hibiscus benefit from regular watering from spring to early autumn during the growing season. Significantly reduce watering during dormant periods. Fertilizer, to encourage abundant, healthy blooms with good color, feed plants with high potassium and high nitrogen fertilizer. Feed a half-strength solution, just before the start of the bloom period, and continue at least once every few weeks, until the end of flowering. Pruning, cutting the plant back after flowering, especially dead, damaged, and diseased branches can aid air circulation. Do not worry if you cut back aggressively, this species can handle it. Propagation, select a 4-6 to six inch piece stem from new, vigorous growth. Keep the leaves at the top of the stem but remove all the rest. Potting in a well-drained, moist potting soil can take a couple of months for the root system to fully develop. Potting and repotting, nutrient-loving potted hibiscus will benefit from being repotted every couple of years in early spring. Avoid deep pots, otherwise, the plant will spend a lot of its energy on root development. Common pests Hibiscus are not bothered by many pests or diseases, but red spider mites can be problematic when humidity levels are not high enough, they can be kept at bay with regular cleaning or insecticidal soaps. Get hibiscus to bloom, the exotic flowers on a hibiscus are short-lived, lasting from just 1 to 3 days. However, if you have a healthy plant, they should produce many flowers through their growing season from late spring through fall. Deadheading isn't necessary but bloom production can be impacted if your plant is overly dry or is not receiving enough nutrients or sunlight. Yellow foliage, if you see, your plant's leaves turning yellow, it could be that you are subjecting it to sudden changes in weather conditions, not watering correctly, or not fertilizing often enough. Dropping of buds extremes in temperature, not enough light or humidity, and over or under watering can cause bud drop.